娃娃 West。娃娃 West， 娃娃 West。Greetings, you crew. The line on this podcast from the Red Room Time Garden Channel. And in this short how-to video upload, I'm going to show you guys exactly how easy it is to grow a pineapple plant like this. From just the top of a store-bought pineapple. So hang tight as I spin this camera around. I'm going to show you guys how I go about removing the top. From a store-bought pineapple, and using that top to grow a pineapple plant, and having that pineapple plant produce a pineapple in as little as 18 to 24 months. Hang tight. All right, guys. As you can see, I have a store-bought、uh, Del Monte pineapple here. Purchased this from my local、uh, market、uh, for around four bucks. I'm simply going to remove the top of this pineapple and use the top of this. To grow a new pineapple plant, and have that plant produce a pineapple in as little as 18 to 24 months. Now I know most of you who buy pineapple out of the store,、uh, your、uh, first instinct is just to take a knife and cut the top off of the fruit, and that's fine if you want to do that.、Um, if you're just going to eat the fruit, but if you're going to actually use that top to attempt to grow a pineapple plant, I would suggest that you not use a knife and simply use your hands. To grip the base of the top, use the other hand to grip the pineapple, and twist it to the side. This top will come off, and it'll come off without removing any of the fruit from the pineapple itself. I'm going to show you guys how I go about doing that. So hang tight. All right, guys. I hope that you can see this. I'm simply going to take this,、uh, the top of this pineapple, grip it firmly at the base, use the other hand to grip the pineapple itself, and twist. See how clean that came off? And I'm going to take this same top, and what I'm simply going to do is remove the first two to three inches of leaves from the bottom of this top. I'm going to show you guys how I do that right now. And peel those that first、uh, maybe inch or so of leaves from the bottom of this top. Come off fairly easy. I'm going to show you guys something as I remove these leaves, and this is something that、um, is common on most pineapples when you remove the top from them. See, I'm really removing a lot of that foliage. Everything's been here at the base. Now, if you guys look closely, you can see that there's already roots protruding from the bottom of the top of this pineapple plant. I'm simply going to take this, stick it in a pot of soil. Water it in good. Sit it outside in a sunny area. I know a lot of YouTube videos recommend that you sit it in a semi-sunny or a shady area until it actually roots. I found out that here in my grow area,、uh, grow zone eight B, that if you just put it in a pot of soil, water it in good, put it out in full soil,、uh, in, out in full sun, and make sure that the soil doesn't dry out during the、uh, rooting period. Most pineapple tops will fully root within a week and a half to two weeks. No exaggerations. Just that simple. When you choose a pineapple、uh, from the store that you intend to use the top to、um, propagate a new pi a pineapple plant from, you want to make sure that the center, the leaves in that center down there, are still green, vibrant, alive, not brown and dead. Because the center is where all of your new growth comes from. And if that down in that center is dead, it will not produce a pineapple plant. At any rate. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna pot this up right quick and show you guys what it, what it looks like. I'll、uh, pot it up. Hang tight. All right, YouTube, and here we have it. The top of our pineapple planted. 
We used a small, about um, five and a half, six inch uh, pot to plant this in. When planting your top, only plant it down to in a depth in the soil, which leaves the bottom leaves just above the soil. You don't want these bottom leaves below the soil because uh, burying those bottom leaves could indeed uh, lead to um, mold and rot of your plant, and you don't want that during the um, rooting process. But again, I uh, planted this, the top of this pineapple about three inches down in the soil. I removed about three inches of the bottom leaves to the top. Planted it firmly in, in this uh, small five to, six, to uh, six inch pot. I'm gonna water this in good, take it outside, sit it at a sunny location, and I'll bring you guys back in about a week to a week and a half. I'm gonna pull this pineapple up out of the soil and show you just how fast a pineapple top from a store-bought pineapple will indeed root using this method. Thanks for watching, and if you are indeed currently uh, watching this video and you're not already subscribed to the Green Thumb Gardening channel, please take this moment to press that subscribe button beneath this video, that like button, that notification button, and please share this video with your friends and family if you don't mind. Thanks, we really would appreciate it. The Wild Wild West. The Wild Wild West. The Wild Wild West. Let me tell you a story about a lion unleashed. Wrapped in the blackest cowboy that you ever seen. You're looking for me, come and find me in the desert heat. Up in the saddle with my head bobbing to the beat. There's a eagle, that's my heater, keep it in the holster. Don't get too close, I might unload my slugs and knock you over. All the natives know this lion, they protect my shoulders. I got a patch that's packing both, they hide it in the boulders. Out on the range, a lion roars so they know my name. Pulling capers with my main man, Jesse James. I'm on it, got the U.S. Marshal trying to bring me in. But me and the kid was lying low here at the lion's den. And it don't matter, in Tabata we roll like the wind. Cause we were brothers, though we had different color skin. Bullets flying all around, but we had steady hands. And when the dust settled, me and him would still stand. The Wild Wild West. The Wild Wild West. The Wild Wild West. In Tombstone with my friend Doc Holliday. Drinking whiskey and cleaning house in a card game. A card truck there at the table with his cracker cheek. I watched the Doc stand him up and knock him off his feet. The next day I found myself out in a different state. Making plans to rob a stagecoach with Ben Wade. We were riding time and hiding out in the shade. Loading guns and shopping in the edges on our night blades. Alone came the stagecoach and it was right on time. Being smart, I knew exactly what was on his mind. He did a stick of dynamite and threw it in the path. When it exploded, made the horses panic and it crashed. We opened up the bike and grabbed the gold and got the